Hi, this is the songbird. And I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about um, life, real life. Um, basically, after my son was almost murdered, both of my sons, while I was trying to do a college course, dropping off my Pell Grant papers with my daughter, um, when she was six years old at the time. And when I went home, um, it took me a long time to go back out. Maybe i say about a year before I went back to work or anything like that. And at that time, I only went when the kids were in school. No nannies, no babysitters. Just uh, school time. Regular school. Um... That was maybe, I don't know exactly how long it was before I went back, but maybe it was actually more than a year, more like it was three years, too. So he had two and a half years of therapy at home, physical therapy. When he came out of the hospital, he was in the hospital for four months. And um, I had tried some stimulants, drugs. Um, I guess I was upset because when it happened to him, I was... I was going to church four days a week. I was not fornicating. I was not partying. I was not dancing out at clubs. I wasn't doing anything, just going to school, going to work, and going to church. And um, so I guess I was upset, and I was only 24 at the time. So in my 24-year-old mind that I already had problems, and I decided I was going to try to uh, do something bad, just as long as it was something bad so I could feel like I deserved what ha what happened, but even though nothing deserves for what happened. Bottom line is, someone came to my door yesterday, um, that was been 30 years ago, someone came to my door yesterday, a young woman who lives in the building, I won't say any names, um, she asked me, could she come in my house, her and another girl, could she come in my house and roll and smoke some angel dust, PCP, for God's sakes. And the one thing I've never done, no matter what mood or what shape my mind was in, was corrupt anybody younger than me. I would never smoke or even drink a beer with anybody younger than me at any point in time, ever. Even if they were older than me, if they never had a beer, I wasn't going to give them one. The lady that I had dreamt about, she was older than me, and she had never drank a beer, and I wasn't going to be the first one to give it to her. So I turned the young people away, and I told them, I'm sorry, I cannot participate in that. Not like they've ever came in my house to do anything like that, but she's like, you're such a nice lady. I figure maybe you won't mind if I, no, I'm nice, but I'm not, I don't get into that. I don't participate with that, and I'm sorry, but, and I won't tell your business. For God's sake, you live in the, you know, she lives in a building where people go when they don't pay their rent and they get evicted. Um, I've never been in one of those buildings and I can't judge nobody who has. I've never been in a shelter, you know, because I pay my rent. Um, but I have had a land flipping scam. That's a whole different story. But anyhow, I mean, I don't participate. This story is just simply to say that I don't corrupt young people, older people. It doesn't matter who they are. And even if it's something they've done that I have done, they're not coming into my house doing it. I'm not going out to hang out to do it. Because, you know, like, I can't judge anybody, but we all have to try to live a better life the best that we can. And, no, I don't go to church four days a week like I did before. I do not. But I still have standards, and I still love God, and I still believe in, you know, the best thing I could do is say to her, you know, girl, you know, you're not even 30 years old yet, and you want to live a long time. And I can't tell you what to do, but you can't come in and do that. Um, you should go home and eat some fish and some veggies and drink some juice and take, you know, and just find something better that feels better for you because that's not going to make you feel good at all in the end. You know, I told her and the other lady that, you know, whether they listened or not, I don't know. And I calmly had to close the door. I couldn't follow her and to see if she was going to do it. But I said to her, you're a nice young lady, her and the other one, you should, you know, think about going back to school or something. And, you know, maybe you could um, land yourself a really good job, you know, get a real good education, you know, and put that PCP down. Because sometimes, you know, you, people take that and they don't get their mind back. I mean, I've never taken that. 
and I don't judge in anybody, but I, like I said, I don't know, I don't know if she just, you know, I don't think she just came to my door, because lately, uh, when I come up the steps, there's people sleeping on the porch, not just my porch, this is a building, they're from the welfare building and the shelter, and their boyfriends, friends, whatever, and they, they're getting high, they're sitting on everybody's porch, smoking weed, whatever they want to smoke, drinking, just sitting on any porch, and, um, you know, it's a good thing they've been lucky because I guess nobody's been rude or or hurt them or anything because around here it's not that safe. And I wouldn't suggest it. You know, I don't know what people do. I don't judge people again. They've been sitting on every porch, and it's not my business. But I don't want them on my porch, and I don't want them in front of my porch, and I don't want them in my door. Number one, I like to have a place to live. And I don't judge, but I don't hang out with, and I don't do those kind of things and I don't let people come around me doing things and you're not sitting on my porch doing things you know first of all the landlord comes and goes whatever is wrong it's wrong if the landlord doesn't come and think that it's you doing it and you can lose your apartment that way it could be housing coming through it could be DSS I don't have any little kids here but some people do and they're sitting on different people's porches smoking drinking you know just hanging out because why? Because they're not allowed to do that at the shelter. And which, really, the only thing that I told her, the only, you know, you want to get high. She said, yeah, well, we need somebody where to get high. And I said, the only thing, you know, I can't touch you, but the only thing you need to do is, is go home and concentrate. Go back to the shelter and concentrate on getting an apartment. So you can get your apartment instead of sitting on. She said, well, we've been sitting on this porch and that porch. Can we get, just come in? No, you can't come in. So, well, we're smoking out here. Just let us roll it up. No, you can't. I'm sorry, you can't. I cannot participate in it.